What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video from Oculus Prime. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a quick little video on just some tips and tricks to get you one more step ahead of the game with Population 1. So this video is more geared towards the finer aspects of the game instead of being a generalized tutorial. That doesn't mean, though, that these aren't basic steps. It's the little things that matter the most in this game and that will get your team the dub. All right, so first things first, drop with your team. Lone wolfing in this game gets you absolutely nowhere, unless you're just a top tier player and can kill anything at any time with any gun. But the biggest way to reach the finish line is teamwork, and that comes through in pretty much every aspect of this video. So if one teammate drops, drop with them. Jesus All right, guys, the second thing is to learn your ping commands. Now, if you're not familiar with ping commands, we do have a tutorial video up that you can look at, which goes through all the ping commands and how to use them. But get familiar with them and use them frequently. It lets your team know what you see, where you see it, and allows them the opportunity to get to a better vantage point to take out an enemy or even just do some scouting. Ping commands can absolutely make or break your match. From marking enemies to letting your team know exactly where you're going or even marking supplies that they might want or need. If you have a guy on your team that's really good with a sniper, mark a sniper for him so he knows where to go pick it up at. And that goes for everything else in the game. If you have a player that needs a banana or a shield cell, mark them. The last thing that they want to do is walk into a house that you told them to go to and search around looking for something that they need right now. And all of this kind of goes hand in hand with the next topic, which is communication. If you haven't yet, go ahead and let this game access your microphone on whatever platform you're using. Because in this game, communication is absolutely key. Some sort of constant form of communication is pretty much essential in this game. Hey, I'm going here, marked with a ping. Hey, I've got a guy over here, marked with a ping. If you're not letting your team know what you see, they could be walking right into a trap and vice versa. If they see a guy right in front of you and they don't tell you, you're just going to walk right up to him and he's going to know you're coming before you even know what hit you. All right, so moving away from the teamwork aspect a little bit, learn your guns. From snipers to handguns to assault rifles to SMGs, learn how to use that gun efficiently. That means how to reload that gun without looking at it, you should be able to reload any gun in this game without even looking. And the reason for that is, if you don't have to look at your gun while reloading, you can keep your eye on the enemy and make sure that they're not going to try and outflank you or run away or anything like that. You also need to learn how to reload quickly. The last thing that you want to have happen is you are in a gunfight one-on-one. -on -one. It's you and one other guy. You're putting fire down range, he's putting fire down range, you run out of ammo, he runs out of ammo, and he gets loaded up before you can, and he ends up winning the game for his team, and you guys come in second place. Gun work in this game is absolutely essential, just like the rest of this list, really. And as far as gun work goes, that leads us to the next thing on this list, and that is keeping a consistent hand position with whatever gun you're choosing. So if you're shooting a CX-4, make sure that you hold it the same way every time. If you're shooting a Magnum, hold it the same way every time. It will give you consistency, meaning accuracy, meaning kills, meaning wins. Just a little side note here. You can tweak your weapon settings at the main menu. Some of this is personal preference, but you can set your motion dampening to 100% and offhand fluence to 0%, making all of your aiming done with your dominant hand. Me personally, I keep it at 50 and 50 just because when I start getting down to the wire, I start getting a little adrenaline surge and I start getting shaky and I can't keep things accurate like that. But if you are going to keep things at 50-50, make sure you practice two-handing weapons. It'll have you out shooting anybody running around just trying to one-hand an assault rifle or anything like that. And for those of you who don't know, two-handing the weapon actually increases the accuracy, so it'll lower the spread of your bullets, and it'll help with your recoil. All right, moving on to the next thing on the list. Keep moving. You know what they say, a sitting target is an easy target. And if you're moving, it just makes you that much harder to shoot. Granted, 
they can lead you in this game. And if you're just moving in one straight line, they're going to lead you and they're going to hit you and they're going to kill you. So be unpredictable. If you start getting engaged in a gunfight, maybe change your direction. Maybe drop if you're up high. Maybe climb if you're down low. But find something to do that isn't a straight line because that just makes it that much easier to kill you. Another tip for this game is to get the high ground. You can see what's going on from a vantage point, and most people aren't looking up. They're looking directly ahead of them. So if you can see a whole squad moving in from the cemetery and you're in kingdom, you know where they are, and they don't even know you're there yet. This gives you and your team the ability to create a plan and execute it before the enemy team even know what hit them. And last but not least, know when to hold back and know when to push up. If you see a couple teams fighting it out, that might be a good time to just kind of wait and see who comes out on top. If a team starts engaging you, it might not be the best idea to run away because then you can get pinched and have two teams shooting at you and you're pretty much screwed at that point. But if you notice two teams having a shootout and you're just going to wait and see what happens and then it gets down to one or two players left, that is absolutely the time to push in and finish them off. All in all, keep your head on a swivel, keep your gun up, and always be ready for a gunfight. Because in this game, it will find you. As always, we appreciate you guys stopping by. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. We've got more content coming out, and we look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care. Oculus Prime out.